He's away. But it'll only be one. Some oh, how good is that? Massive build up to that back lift, and then what a flourish. There are no half measures when Sehwag is concerned. And makes a mockery of that uh, strategy, that deep point fielder uh, just went there, picked up the ball from the boundary rope, could do nothing about this booming drive. What a strike. Short cover was in place and he cried help. He's found it this time. There's nothing really wrong with that delivery, but that is a stunning shot. Off the front foot. Boundary on the onside. It's 108 without loss. Crowds enjoyed it. We enjoyed it too. And the way his uh, partner Jaffer is smiling, he, I feel, has enjoyed this lovely silken drive to the onside as well. Well, Carlos is a man that Smith goes to when he needs a wicket. He's a partnership breaker, so uh, Graham Smith would be hoping that he can work his magic again today. But uh, first delivery going for four, so it's a run fest, Shiva. They're enjoying it at the moment. It wasn't a bad delivery, a good batting. Graham the Sebag had to wait for the delivery, open the face of the bat. It was extremely good. The strong area is a point and backward point. The important thing is not in a hurry. Just waited for it. Knew exactly where the gap was. He's worked it fine. Makaya Antini has no chance. Another boundary for Seva gets him to 75. There's very little margin for error on this pitch. Outfield is quick as well. Delivery was a fraction too straight. Sayuak so played that beautifully off his seat. Just to finish off the point that I was making, he's going to be extremely good in Test match cricket is because when you have men attacking position, three slips in a gully, lot of open spaces for him to hit. And he gets a lot of boundaries. That's why he's so very effective in the longer version of the game. Again, well controlled. For the second time, we're seeing in two overs. He's picked up a boundary and then looks for the single. Well, it's just quality batting. He's got a very good game plan going. When the loose ball's there, he puts it away. But he's also got the patience to try and uh, let the ball go when he has to. To defend when he has to. So it's a simple game plan and it's working. And fine, is it fine enough? Yes, it is. Boundary to Seba, 20 over. 132 for no loss. Well, this run rate continues, continues to climb. This delivery is too straight. Off the hip as well. Sewag has been playing that shot uh, beautifully today. And they must, Ishan, he'll be back for the next test match. The ball out of the rough. We can see what Harris is trying to do. He's trying to land it in those footholes. But there's not much happening for him, even over the wicket. We did see a few rough areas develop, just scruffing up on the surface. Now that's outside the leg stump. It's not totally disintegrated. It's just a little coarse and rough on the surface. Maybe just trying to get a bit of unevenness out of that. Well, that's a very wide delivery from Paul Harris. What a question whether he's, he's actually trying to get him out there. It's a very negative bowling already from uh, South African 
Left arm spin up. From the start, I felt they've been uh, hoping to incite a mistake rather than attack uh, Varindra Sehwag. They feel that the way to get him out is to let him be, frustrate him, block his boundaries, and then he'll play a shocker. Yeah, you're relying on the batsman basically giving his wicket away, trying to do something uh, which he doesn't want to do, attack. Attack somebody who's just bowling it into the rough. Well, he's gone for it, but he's played it with the turn. He made room for himself. That's the special ability of Virindu Sehwag. 141 without loss. Didn't quite look it to me. Oh, sublime form. Just over pitched. He doesn't bother too much with footwork. It's the hand eye coordination and such tremendous bat placement and bat speed. Brilliant. Well, Morkel over pitches. And uh, Siwak just opens the face, just times it. Caresses the way through the offside for four more. Looking in stunning form this morning. See, we're carrying on from where he was last night. He moves on to 89 from just 98 balls. This has been an absolute treat. Virendra Sehwag at his best in his elements, in good touch, good form. Didn't take the foot near close to the line of the ball because he wanted to make space for himself to get that gap it covers. It's quite unforgiving, uh, this these conditions. Not easy if you're a bowler, as we've seen so far. It's still not offering too much of hope for the bowler. did come down suddenly using his feet to Paul Harris we'll see where he doesn't want to be tied down and there's just a little sniff there for Paul Harris he was hit very hard so his pace with his playing against Bangladesh or Australia or uh, South Africa it remains the same because he's able to play such shots, find those gaps, a little bit of hesitation, but he gets across for the second. From the Sevag uh, at Chennai, he's, he's, he's only averaging 97.5. It's his best average by any player here. Tendulkar's averaging 92, so that gives you some idea of the class of this guy. He likes it here, and he's on his way again. He's got 95. Oh, he's tried to hit it for six. Has he? Has he hit it for six for 100? No. Oh, I love that. That's the 100th boundary of the match. is great to watch is unpredictable and almost stole the marsh there with that hefty blow we all thought it was a six landed few feet short of that mark i've got goosebumps uh, you know the crowd is on every ball here it's fabulous being at the cricket in india that could be because uh, you had bad experience uh, sleeping last night your air conditioning wasn't working <laughs> it's amazing. I, I, I've heard everything. Come on, will this be his hundred? No. <laughs> it's the first time. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know whether it's Indian logic or not, but the uh, the, the room attendant. I said everything is wet in my room. My room is very wet. He said, "Don't turn it up to 24 degrees because it puts water in the room." <laughs> to change rooms 
Isn't that a great uh, shot? He, he went for it, didn't he? He was going to just excite the crowd. He's fabulous. Just from 115 balls, that's at a strike rate of 86 on a dead pitch. He's gone high and handsome! Nearly six, but four for his hundred. What a man, what an innings. Just absolutely brilliant. He remained emotionless, thanking uh, the almighty, really, as a top quality knock. Second in a row, 14 test match, 100. Last one against Australia, this one against South Africa. Two top quality teams been plundered by Sehwag. And almost uh, going the distance, this one. The slow delivery picked up early and striking it neatly over Miroff. One ball remaining and uh, just a single. 11 from it, it's 165 for none. So what's there about maybe 30, 40,000 people in today and they've come to see some good cricket. But look at the pitch map, bowling over the wicket to the right-handers and uh, that's hope bowling. That's hoping that uh, the batsman will get sick of it all and finally just swing his head off. Because a player like Savag on strike, I just reckon that uh, you attack good players. I used to love to bowl to attacking players because they gave you a chance. They were after you, so you're in with a chance. But this sort of stuff... Oh! It's not going to help anybody. He's getting sick of it, Savag. 165 for none. And I think so at the crowds because uh, we saw them booing at the bowler because they also understand uh, the negativity of to, uh, to the challenge of bowling to Sachin Tendulkar. Oh. And that's uh, that's what he was working for, I guess, that he would frustrate Sevag into something different. Hitting across the line, he's saying, "Yep, that's all right. I don't mind that." And maybe that's just the ploy. Maybe he doesn't feel confident enough to come around the wicket to Sevag. Reason why Sevag is so good is that he's uh, always been in his career one step ahead of the opposition, the bowler. And so they'd set him up for that drive through the offside and he reverse swept that one for four. <laughs> and uh, we know now that he can play a bit of uh, leg football. <laughs> Well, the ball pitches outside leg stump. You cannot be out LBW. So he just kicks it away. He said, I'm sick of this. Come and bowl properly to me. See how easy it is for him. You know, there'd, there'd be lower order batsmen wouldn't be able to cope with really early. But it's still a very defensive field. No slip. Carlos for the ball. He's played it fine and has got it run away for four. Boundary to start proceedings after lunch for Sehwag. It's not a good delivery, but Sehwag has played the shot well all day. Off his hip, his balance has been good. Slightly surprising to me that there's not one slip. First over after lunch, you think that at least he'd have one slip in a catching position, but a very defensive mindset now. South Africa almost looking to... Even though they got 540, they're almost looking to try and uh, save the match, if you like, from that position, which is uh, a strange way of, uh, of going about their business. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. Used his feet, played it inside out, got beside the ball. Now, there's a lot of room that he had to make to get into that position. What a stunning shot. That was a terrific stroke. Harris still aiming somewhere outside leg stump, but uh, Sewa giving himself room, getting to it on the half volley, and a terrific drive through extra cover. <laughs> He's really now laying into Harris. It's almost as though Harris is now trying to run away from him. He's going further away from the leg stump. 
Sehwag running to him. But this is another look at that boundary. Exceptional footwork there. This is a joy. Four. Outside the off stump, just the room. He just eased it through the covers. 201 is India and 201 is the partnership. That was another terrific shot by uh, Saywag. He just waited for the delivery, played it late and picked that gap between points and cover. normal con conventional wisdom would dictate that you take your foot close to the ball but he's always making room for himself India reaches 200 without loss 126 is for in the save out some more runs four of them Things not going right now for Dale Steyn. This one short and wide, and Sevag pounced on it. Through that vacant slip uh, area. So Dale Steyn finding out that test cricket can be tough. He's had a wonderful run over the last uh, 12 months or so. He was the quickest to 100 wickets for South Africa. Everything went his way, but uh, bowling on this pitch has been tough. bat speed on a late cut good delivery well played as well by uh, Sawak he had a couple of good shots early in the over but he was rock solid in defense there got himself into a very good position so this is now the best opening wicket partnership for India in uh, Chennai, the previous best 200, Gavaskar Srikanth versus Pakistan in 87. So it's a, it's a pretty old record. It has now tumbled. Beautifully played again. We'll get just one. delivery just uh, came into the right hand a reverse swinging Graham Smith coming around at mid off to cut off what would have been another boundary Sevak has got it through covers again just eased it through he's probably going to come back for two Very good shot by uh, Sawag again. Harris continuing to try and bowl outside Sawag's leg stump, but he gave himself room on this occasion and played it well. It's always making room. I think that was off the bounce, but that's that's what he actually wants him to do on drive and maybe not get to the pitch of it and push back a return catch, but not on this occasion. Was this an opportunity? But uh, since lunch, what's been happening? So a very good period of play for uh, for India. These two continuing to do well. 42 runs of just 43 deliveries. You're just wasting your time bowling outside the off stump, marginally short of a length to Virendra Sebal because it's too easy for him. 21st boundary. Oh boy, oh boy, what a shot this is. He is making it look so easy at the moment. See, like, just opens the face about. He knows exactly where all the fielders are. Total, total control. Guides it away. 
for four more. Moves him on to 138. This is a good sweep shot again by uh, Sayward, who's played brilliantly. Norman Merkel not able to cut that off. Let's hope he hasn't done any damage to himself. Always difficult for tall people, really, to uh, bane while running, and uh, obviously looks to be in a little bit of pain, but uh, he'll survive. Last thing South Africa would want is uh, their fast bowler to get unfit. They want their uh, the squad to be fully fit for this test match. Oh, he uh, tripped over the ball, in fact. It could have been a lot more nasty. Sevag is ready to take the strike. Mone Mokul looks uh, all set to go. And he's uh, put away through the offside. Lazy elegance. Stunning stuff from uh, Virinda Sevag. Also, his, his 150. Tenth 150 in a row, would you believe it? It's been magnificent. And what a shot to play to get there. Sensational performance. Ten times he's got to 100 and got on to get 150 in a row. So magnificent. And it's been a, an absolute joy to watch this innings. 171 balls, 23 fours, 1 6, and a strike rate of 88. So great effort. Followed it up with a breathtaking straight drive. No chance for Prince. He's quick. But that ball sped away across the turf in a flash. He's turning it on now. Two successive boundaries. India will hope that this carries on for a while because that'll keep the run rate around about the four to the over, which it is now. And as far as a, a match is concerned and as far as India trying to get into a position where they can put South Africa under pressure in the second innings. It's essential that they maintain that sort of run rate. The crowd has become alive. Viru, Viru, they chant. And the obvious reaction, a short one from Wani Moko. He wasn't interested, Sewak. A couple of great shots uh, we've seen in this uh, over so far. It's a great drive to the offside and this punch down the, the pitch for a four. Is it 24 fours and one six? And he's not finished yet. Finding the gap. The ball will win the race. Graham Smith is giving it a chase will he dive now oh, it goes and uh, hits the rope and he dismantles the board there graham smith it's quite a heavyweight certainly is he's a big unit these days into the boundary board second south african fielder that's uh, that's some difficulty negotiating the boundary and the advertising board Warner Morkel in the previous over went the same way. Graham Smith, fortunately, this time was able to just slow down because he hit the board. So in slow motion, almost went over along with the advertising board. So hopefully, no damage done on this occasion. Seva, so, uh, three boundaries, best over in innings, 13 runs. One more ball to come. Smith having a quiet word with his uh, young fast ball. He'll learn a few things, Morne Morkel. Difficult conditions for fast bowling, but you just cannot give up. I think that is the message that will be uh, rallied to him by, his skip, by Skipper. Ends it with a short delivery, 240 for one. Yes, and it doesn't work, then it can certainly affect you. Goes over the top. Fielder at Mirov can do nothing about it. Makai Antini had to run across to uh, get around it. Failed to save another blistering drive from Sevak going to the boundary. 
Well, he's just got an, a second or a third wind. Saywag is just superb at the moment. Runs are flowing everywhere. Gone fine away from Mark Boucher. Is it off the bat or pad? All eyes are on Asad Rauf. It's given as four. Came off the bat. 250 is raised India now. 253. So just one wicket down. Too much next side uh, on that occasion. A sparing dive by Mark Boucher, but he had no chance of getting across to stop that one. Well, that's good fielding. He really gave it his all, uh, Sehwag. There's no holding back when he finds a half volley. When it's uh, on the rise, then he's intent on gap finding and uh, timing, but it's a half volley. It's a huge flourish of the bat. He mentioned the tr privilege of being here and watching him bat, so uh, I, he just amazes me. He, he's so beautifully balanced at the crease. And even though he has limited footwork, if he's, even though his feet don't go to the line of the ball, his head goes there, you know, and he's... His uh, eye-hand ball coordination is just outstanding. And, and the bat speed, he just lets the ball come on and, and just thrashes it. It's been a thrill, and there's more coming. Oh, if he missed the previous one, he wasn't going to be missing this one. Just smashed it back past the bowler. Nobody moved. Now this is the highest score by an Indian against South Africa. And Tini has been disappointing on this track. The ball hasn't swung for him. All he's done is angle in from outside the off stump. And he's either been short or full. Nothing too subtle about it. So uh, when it's up there, he just hits straight through the line of the ball. And that's beautiful. Looking it over. He's pulled that one. And there's no fielder there. It's bisected the two fielders. Nobody's moved. It's four to end the over. 267 for one. We were saying about Antini that uh, he's either been full or short. There's been nothing much in between. He hasn't mixed it up with slower deliveries. And this pitch is not suiting him. It's just uh, short, but not short enough. If you bowl short, it's got to get above the batsman's eyes. He's played it fine. There's nobody there. <laughs> Virendra Sehwag is toying with them. His 30th boundary. Antini finding it difficult to sprint after that one. With the lap shot, the lap sweep in vogue these days in modern day cricket. You've just got to have someone at 45 degrees saving one behind square. Especially bowling around the wicket with the angle coming in to the right hand of batsman. There's nobody there. We saw it with uh, with Harbhajan Singh yesterday with Kumble, and the runs are so easy to come by around that uh, little corner there. He said, "Come to me now." So he goes over mid wicket. Magnificent. <laughs> There's just no stopping him. Let me tell you, there are five on the fence. This time he's gone over extra cover. This is thrilling stuff. Boundary number two. There's no backer. There's no backing of the bowler here. By he's the captain. He's, <laughs> he's gone for four more. So he is now literally trying with him. He's showing you this full array of shots. Exceptional stroke play. Sevag has made this happen because one ball, the first ball, pit, second ball, pitched outside off stump and he lap, swept it. Got four. He's got no cover there, Paul Harris. So he's, he feels he can't afford to get too close to off stump, so he just picks him off outside the off stump. It's brilliance from Sevag.
what can you say? He's got every shot in the book and a few more that are not in the book. Just using the pace of that delivery. Playing it late. The del He's got a hand to it. Otherwise, that would have sped to the fence as well. But that was extreme athleticism by Antini. The last. Well, that's in the air. And it is out of here. That is all the way. That is six. He's on 199. Would you believe it? I think he just miscalculated. If it was the 200, he was attempting with the six. What an amazing shot. I just said that he was on 95 and he tried to hit the six for his 100 and just landed short. So he hit the next ball for four to get 100. Now he's uh, he's just picked this up and run with it. And a little tap for Antini on the way through. He said, look, I'm sorry, mate, but, you know, I was going for them. Look at that. Antini bowled that at probably about 140 k's per hour and he's picked it up like he's playing a spinner. That's how well he's seeing it. 199. You want to take this, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's 200. Maybe another boundary. That's good luck. That is his fourth double hundred. Within the Sehwag. His highest score in India. 202 not out in just 194 deliveries. What an innings. 40,000 people stand and applaud and salute uh, this magnificent innings. And there would probably be a billion watching it on television around the world, standing and saying congratulations and thank you for the entertainment. Absolutely fabulous. Magnificent. What can you say? Even uh, every South African cricketer applauded. He's got a strike rate of 104. This is the third fastest double 100 in Test cricket ever. Against Pakistan, he himself did it in 182 balls. And today's Nathan Astle in 153 balls today in 194 balls I really enjoyed you know I know it was all about Seva again but I really enjoyed the endeavor from Ashwell Prince I think it was down the boundary 292 for one oh he's going over the top over extra cover and that's six this is the last over before T mind you He's gone over extra cover for six, and that's Antini. <laughs> we're, we're running out of things to say here. This is just magnificent. How do you bowl to that? Probably just run in and try and hit middle stump every ball, I guess. Give him no room to free his arms. This is awesome. No footwork, stand and deliver, but beautifully balanced. Just straight down the pitch, not towards the ball. Gave himself room. That's beautiful. A beautifully played. That's been late cut for four. You can't play those shots if you take your foot to the pitch of the deliveries. 300 comes up now. Sevag races to 213. Aaron, that is one of the best bits of commentary I've heard for a long time. We see so many coaches telling children to get their foot to the ball, and you've just said it perfectly. You can't play those shots if you put your foot close to the ball. It doesn't allow your freedom. That's a magnificent shot. He's gone, he's gone for it, and it's sped to the fence. 
and he's smashed it past extra cover for four. 16 of the over. Sehwag is now 218. A strike rate of 109 and rising. He's walked off to tee. India 309 for one in 70 overs. What a shot that was bowled from round the wicket to him. He made room for himself. Got that front foot out of the way, I might add. And smashed it past extra cover for four. He's got 108, Bruce Yardley, in 67 balls between lunch and tea. It's a defensive line or a negative line. Leave that uh, choice of terminology to the viewers. How is he looking to get rid of the Sebaga? Does man a deep mid wicket, long on, deep square leg for the big shot? You know, Sebaga doesn't sweep too much. Does man a short fine leg too? Most bowlers have a word or two with the batsman these days. What happened, Paul Harris? Having a word with Virendra Sevag. <laughs> you don't want to say too much on a good batting pitch to a batsman, do you? No, there's only been one winner so far. And that hasn't been Paul Harris, unfortunately. So, uh, Sevag truly winning the battle up to this point. Oh. Oh. Overstepping. No ball called. That single also brings up the 100 partnership. That's a big no ball, particularly from a spinner's perspective. He created the width. It's a quick outfield. Bit of work to do for the fielder, but the ball will win the race. Boundary number 35 for Sebag. Effortless, terrific placement. So just guided that past point. Mourne Morka, third man, had no chance to cut this off. This outfield is lightning quick. That is a terrific shot. Played it so late. Wide outside the off stump. He's cleared the man at point. And it runs away to the boundary. Jacques Carl is not happy. It was a poor delivery. There's uh, Carlos getting frustrated there, showing his uh, frustration, which never helps in this situation. He wants to feel this deeper. Doesn't want them in tight to cut off the single. He's looking to stop the boundary. This one over A.B. De Villiers' head. He had no chance to catch that anyway because he hit it very, very well. I think the only chance that somebody could have taken a catch if Monty Morkel was there. He's about a foot taller than uh, A.B. de Villiers. So another boundary. It's the highest individual score registered by an Indian here at the Chidimu Stadium chip off. He's gone past Sunil Gavaskar. Now he's got 236 against the West Indies. Sebag now 239. And he hasn't finished yet. Too short. It's easy put away. Three men in the deep on the leg side is not going to help. Oh! Oh, that was close. This is the quicker delivery. Just going over the middle stump. Extra bit of bounce. One of the few times that uh, Sebag has played and missed. looking to cut a ball which is just around the middle stump area moving way down the leg side so the entertainment continues he's refused uh, a single Raul Dravid well and rightly so because that uh, throw has been misfielded A.B. de Villiers was the fielder who ran across through at the non-striker's end he thought there was a chance of a run out and uh, the entire effort came to uh, no avail because uh, no one was really serious in backing up. 
Well, that'll be the easiest four he's got during this innings. No real aggression from Sawag. Aggression from De Villiers. And a slip. And it runs away for four. It's not what you want, is it? In the fielding team. The opposition 345 for one. They're chasing down 540. The dominant man for in the Sawag on 243, and you go and give him another four. Fielder there. The watch out South Africa is nearing yet another milestone, and we know that uh, he wants to deal in bound. Reverse sweep. That's hit. And four. Almost reverse swept it for a six. Oh, what an extraordinary shot. Rinder <laughs> Sawag, probably not on the circumstances. As we know, he likes to bring his milestones up in sixes. Paul Harris pitching in the rough. What does Seawag do? How's he going to deal with it? Just plays a left handed swat for four. A bit of an anticlimax. He really had to bowl it wide. It spun back. But have a look at this slog reverse, sweeping the ball and almost carrying it for a six. In position early, he sums it up so quickly, Seawag. That's a. Incredible shot. Played exceptionally well for a left-hander. <laughs> Almost walking that single. On 249, it really has been uh, a real treat to watch him display all his uh, skills against spin, fast bowling, any length he's been on top of the ball. Now Dravid's playing the test match. Here we go. Easily done. Fantastic inning. Sensational stuff from Sewak. Reaches his 250 with utmost of ease. He's hardly broken a sweat. 225 balls, 250 on the board. He raises his back. that fabulous but no fear of those rough marks those foot marks outside leg stump that's what uh, Harris is targeting that's the overs 372 for one yeah a bit of a chat uh, I guess they'd be hoping maybe that they might even think about the new ball now, these two. It'll probably get Dravid going again. That would have been close, and it looks like overthrows. Just the extra run. No fear is the factor that separates the two batsmen at the crease at the moment. Royal Dravid is terrified of getting out. He's not freeing himself up. Sawak on the other side, he's got the confidence. He's not scared of getting out. So that was a, a pretty ordinary throw there by Abi de Villiers. Sawak just uh, improvising there. So, so that normally happens from a batting point of view. When your confidence is up, you don't think about getting out. But when you've been struggling, you know, crags and what have you. Some pitches just powder, and uh, these Indians have no fear of playing the ball out of this powdery rough. Now, it's a bit different when it, uh, you know, I, I just, uh, that's a bit, quick, a bit hard on the keeper, isn't it? Four buys against him, but it's a bit different in a, uh, say, a, a, say a pitch like Gaul in, in Sri Lanka that doesn't crumble, it crags. And the ball turns at right angles at times, many times down there. But you go to Prima Dasa Stadium and it powders like this and just seems to get easier to bat on rather than 
becoming more difficult. It's a highly abrasive surface, this one. We've seen the ball just sort of lose its shine very, very quickly, and it's quite soft now, and I, I'm just wondering whether it's time for the new ball. It's starting to look like that. It just looks also... And uh, caught that. Doesn't that tell you something? And that was some shot. A little bit of width off it and it was enough. Timing was superb. Mark Voucher can't believe it. Just opened the face at the last minute. Playing it late. Went like a rocket. He's gone over the top. And in fact, has it gone the distance? It's a flat hit for six. Harris didn't even make an attempt. It was maybe he didn't get sight of it, or maybe it was just too quick for him. Force of the hit made him uh, absolutely a passenger, a spectator. Ball hitting the skirting, went on the full and hit it, and been signal a six. Mighty hit. Inside out drive over mid off, really a special effort from Sewak. He's not gone overboard with that uh, full shot, Sewak. So he's uh, he's planned it really well. He's looked at the uh, areas where he can hit. Dale Stain. Uh obviously said something but he's got a smile on his face and <laughs> but in the sidewalk didn't hear him the slow one just the one by taken It can only be a draw, or the only one team can lose from here on. Now this is this is what happened a couple of balls ago. That was the bouncer ball, and he said something. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> oh, he smashed that. That's from the meat of the blade. Where has that gone? Four. Just wants to let uh, Paul Harris know who the boss is out there. Catch it was the call from Paul Harris. And ball uh, went a mile in the air over cover. There was nobody there. Maybe asking one of the birds, the kite, maybe to take it. That well might not uh, see Sachin Tenduka back because we're in the same out. He's getting to 297 with that huge six well he moves to 297 with an incredible shot right out the meat of the bat six more the crowd is standing and let's just wonder we know how Verinda Sobek likes to get to those milestones that is right out the meat of the bat long on and long off a back but he doesn't care. Oh, that's I wonder what goes through his mind if he is 90, 190, 290, 297. He might look for the big shot again. What a strike. Great footwork. Here we go. He's got to go for it, isn't he, again? Initial trigger movement was there from Virendra Sevak, just a single to get to 298. Just pushed it through a bit quicker, Paul Harris. Not this one, though. He tried his arm, tossed it up. What a strike. Cleans the die. Paul Harris has realised, oh no. What have I done? 300 will it be now? 
A lot of excitement around and in the comb box as well. Looked like he blasted it down the ground. Just a single. Well, what do you think he was trying to do there, Shiv? That looked like he was trying to put that one out the park for six. He's not bothered, is he? He's not interested in getting there in singles or twos. He wanted to put that test match cricket in terms of balls played. The quickest has been 362 balls by Matty Hayden against Zimbabwe. Here we go. Sevan on 299. Virinder Sevak has done a magnificent job and what an innings, the best ever here in Chennai. Well, stunning and absolutely breathless knock from Virinder Sevak. He's been at the crease for approaching eight hours. An astonishing knock to have faced only 278 balls for that 300 as well. What a masterful innings we've seen today. Innovation from the crowd, they've loved it. You hear the noise in the ground, unbelievable knock. Well played for him, the Sawag. Innings of a lifetime. Sensational knock from Virinder Sevak, the quickest triple hundred in terms of balls, 278 balls for his 300, 42 fours and five. Oh! I'd say Grandsmith hasn't been prepared to do this enough during the day though, as captain, to, to change up his tactics. He's been very defensive all day. Uh, but just as a captain to split your game plan up sometimes to attack Virinda Sewag. Oh! Good delivery. Is looking for the turn, but went straight on with the angle. Bit of an inside edge. Sewag will pick up two more. Three zero eight. One sort of skidding on with the arm. Inside edge from Rinder Sewag. Paul Smith throws his arms up. <laughs> Probably the first push shot. This is the most number of runs scored in a day in India in Test Match Cricket. 300. I think I'm very pleased with my innings. Especially I focus a lot today because we have to get the total you know, close to South African so I have to take responsibility and then battle like that. Yeah, uh, Anil told me that now you have to take responsibility and but meanwhile you have to play your shot also. We have to manage, uh, maintain the run rate also so I think we did a great job. You all gone purple, uh, you stand. Uh, how were you able to concentrate for uh, such a long period? Because it hurts when I when, when I was not in the team so I, I have to prove myself that okay, I belongs to here so I I want to my you know uh, I want to uh, get back my seat so so that's why because I have to concentrate hard uh, and it's good for me to come in for uh, first test match so I think I'll continue in the next two test matches. Really interesting to hear from him just how much it hurt to be left out of the side recently. He's answered his critics big time today, not only equaling his highest ever score, but it's the quickest 300 ever by some distance, beating the previous record held since 1932-33 by Walter Hammond by 77 balls. What an effort. Also, 253 runs in a single day from Sewag. And he's away. He's now got the record, the highest score by any Indian. He's just gone past his own 309. Records tumbling all around him. He's now 310 within the Sevag. And I'm sure more to tumble. As long as he stays out there with that strike rate and uh, with his power play, I'm sure that he'll be able to break all kinds of betting records. Oh, that one reared up quite nastily. He was looking for that uppercut again, Sevak, but was surprised with that extra bit of bite. 
Well, India's focus uh, has to be quick runs. But maybe it's a new ball in early times, just getting a little feel of things once again, both of them. But this came and hit the handle, just kept coming in. Seva was trying to make space for himself to play the uppercut, but fortunately it didn't go anywhere near the slip fielders or on the stumps. He could very well have been played on. Both these uh, faster bowlers with the new ball I see have obviously cut down on their pace. The pace is not um, very relevant on in conditions like these. It's got to be more line and length and uh, field oriented. Yes, it appears exactly that way. Uh, just 400, I'll be there in no time. Well, that's a pull. Slightly short and he went for it. Past mid-wicket. A very straightish mid-wicket for four. I guess that was the only space uh, that had not seen a Sehwag boundary. Straightish mid-wicket. He looked to be just a little bit uncomfortable. Ball got a little big on him, but he got away uh, from it with good footwork. There you see, it wasn't short enough, went back and created that extra bit of width to hit it straight over mid-wicket or through the straighter mid-wicket area. Good wind-up and uh, that unhesitant approach really is the hallmark of Sehwag's genius. He's gone! He went for it, but... The new ball has done the trick and it has silenced this crowd. Wherein the Sehwag is gone. Caught in the slips of Antini, 319. There was a huge pause, a silence, and now the, uh, the claps have begun. Mackenzie clearly uh, very happy. He will bid farewell to this large audience and they all appreciate his effort. It really was a magnificent innings. Really, you have to stand up and applaud this genius. Tried to cut the ball, which wasn't short enough. Really, half cut, half drive, and nicely taken by Ian McKenzie. Gone for 319, India for 